In this video, we talk about creating and naming lists in R. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, if you don't know already, list can support multiple data types, i.e. numeric, character, logical, etc. So you can have different data types within a list. You can have a combination of whatever in that list. Conversely, if you had a vector or a matrix, like you can only have one data type in a vector or a matrix. If you try and put different data types in a vector or a matrix, R is gonna automatically convert it to all the same data types. So you can only have either numeric or character or logical or whatever it might be in that vector or matrix. So that's the difference right there, or one of the differences between lists and vectors and matrices is the ability to have multiple data types within a list. Hopefully that makes some sense. If not, go watch the vector and matrix videos that I've shot. But also, you can have lists of lists. You can have lists with vectors in them. You can have matrices. You can have numerics. You can have characters. You can have a, comp a whole bunch of different stuff inside of one list. So they're very flexible, and you can add a lot of stuff to them. However, one of the downsides with lists is that they are not as math friendly as vectors and matrix matrices. Like you can add, subtract, divide, multiply, all that type of stuff, vectors and matrices. However, with lists, you can't quite do it as easily. So if you're looking to do math, I recommend looking into vectors and matrices versus a list. Anyway, let's go ahead and create a list or two and add some names to it and explore how it kind of works. All right, so the first thing I wanna go ahead and do is create a list. So I'll go ahead and call it P1 for person one. And then we type out the list function. And then we go ahead and add whatever we want to our list. So I'm gonna say Nathan, and then age, 35, and weight, 160 pounds. So I'll run that real quick. And then I'll go ahead and check out what it looks like. And so here we go, here is my list. And you'll notice that I have three different elements in my list. I have a character, that, that's my name, and then I have a numeric, that's my age, and another numeric, that is my weight. So you can see we have two different data types within our list right there. And of course, I can check if this is a list by using the is list function, is list, and we'll run that real quick, and true. So there we go, makes some sense, easy way to check. Now let's go ahead and add some names to our list items in here. So I'll go with names, p1, and then we'll use a vector to assign the name. So we'll use the combine function and we'll go with name and we'll go with age and we'll go with weight and run that real quick. And now let me go ahead and run P1. And now we see that we have the name, age, and weight names for the items in our list. And we'll use that in just a minute here. I'll give you a little preview. And then I have another video that goes into more detail of selecting items within list, but we'll do a little preview in this one. All right, let's go ahead and move on down here and create another list real quick where we can go ahead and assign the names as we create the list. So we'll do that real quick. We'll do P2, and so that's person two. And then we'll do our list function. And then we can go ahead and do name equals to, we'll say Chris. And you'll notice that I'm not wrapping parentheses or quotations, I'm sorry, around the name here. I'm just typing it out. And then I wrap the quotations around my value, the actual name that I'm using. And then I'll go ahead and throw a comma in here and then do age. And we'll say that this Chris guy is 32. And then we'll do weight and we'll set that equal to 180 pounds. I'll go ahead and run that real quick. And then if I go ahead and look at my P2, I see that I got name, Chris, age, 32, weight, 180. So we can set the name right there when we create our list. So that can be handy instead of you know doing two different functions to create the list and then set the name, right? So this kind of simplifies the process here. Now real quick, let's go ahead and pull some information out of our list. And again, I have another video that goes into more detail, but we'll keep it simple just to give you a little taste of what's to come. So P1, and then we can use this dollar sign. You notice that we have dollar signs and then the name of the element in our list. So let's go ahead and use name here, name. And we get Nathan right there. All right, cool. So we can use the name of the list, a dollar sign, and then the name of the element in our list to go ahead and pull that value forward. So let's do P1 and wait. Run that real quick. And we get 160 right there. Same concept, of course, with P2, name, 
and we get Chris right there and so on. So that's how you create lists in R and give them names and then how to quickly navigate to certain elements within those lists. That's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.